Hey, this is Brock Lemires, and in this video we're going to continue looking at AC signals, and specifically I want to look at the final two transformations that we can conduct on a sine wave in order to get it to match the waveforms that we see in electrical systems. And these final two, two transformations are scaling the amplitude and shifting the offset. So at this point we have our gen general expression for a sine wave that varies with time and that of course is going to be V of T and then we say sine of and then the way we write it in electrical engineering is we say 2 pi F T <clears throat> and then minus the phi and phi 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 <laughs> and w w the reason we write it like this is because we can directly look at this form and know exactly what the the frequency is in hertz so that's why we write it like this and this is how we scale the period so that instead of going from zero to two pi it goes from zero to t okay so it goes from zero to t and that allows us to scale the the period and then of course phi is the offset so if it was offset in time we would apply that shift right there and then the whole key to this is that these are in radians okay and that allows us to use the base sine function without putting our calculators in degree mode but then what about if we want to scale it up up or down and what if we want to make it bigger or smaller okay and so if you recall the definitions of the electrical parameters that control that uh, one of them is the amplitude or what we can call the peak voltage <clears throat> and so this is the amplitude amplitude and the way that this works is we define amplitude as the amount that it, you, it goes, that the sine wave goes from its center point to its peak, and then it also, of course, goes from, <clears throat> it also goes to the negative V peak down here, but we only use this value right here. So it's like just this right here is the peak. So for example, if I wanted a, a sine wave that went to like, uh, you know, let's say 10 volts, I would say that the V peak is 10 volts or the amplitude is 10 volts, even though I know that it swings from 10 volts to negative 10 volts, okay? And if you wanted to ever capture, you know, that, you could say that the V peak to peak is equal to 20 volts, okay? So peak to peak is simply two times the amplitude. But what about a sine wave? Well, if you remember this, the sine wave is defined to go between zero or excuse me negative one and one and that's just because of the whole unit circle business right so it's like the sine wave is defined as a unit circle and it goes to one and negative one and as this thing as the angle radians go around the sine wave basically goes up and down up and down up and down up and down so this as it's written right here produces a, a range on v of t that goes from negative one to one okay well that's pretty sweet because if I wanted to scale this in order to make it larger or smaller, all I do is simply write, or I simply multiply V peak times that. And it, so it's one of, it's a very simple transformation. So it's like, okay, that, <clears throat> no problem. Okay, now, and it's pretty easy. That's really all it is. But here's what you gotta remember. Here's the whole thing about it, okay? This right here is the peak, okay? That is the amplitude. It is not, not V peak to peak. And it is not, <laughs> it is not the RMS, the root mean square, the average of the sine wave. Okay, so that's that's the only place that you get you get in a little trouble is when we look at a sine wave in electrical engineering. We're like, we have all these these three parameters. We're like, well, I got peak to peak, I got my average right there, V RMS. Which one do I use? Well, if you remember the unit circle where the sine outputs something that is goes between negative one to one, you'll always remember it is V peak or also called amplitude, okay? All right, so then the next parameter is simply, what if I wanted to shift this thing up? And this one's even easier than that, is all you do is just add to it. So you just come over here and you just say, add V offset, okay? And that represents like if I had a sine wave, so like let, let's say this is zero volts, and my sine wave was centered at like seven volts, and I had something like this, it's like all I do is just take the entire sine wave and just add to it. And so since this is basically the dependent axis, you're just gonna take whatever this calculates and you're gonna add this onto it. Now, some notes about V offset. <clears throat> this is always, or this is defined usually as DC voltage. So we actually add a DC component to an AC signal, but that's fine. We still consider this an AC signal because it is varying with time. This just is the shifting of it, okay? Okay, so let's do this. Let's take a look at 
uh, <clears throat> really quickly, like, well, let's take a look at what this might look like when we graph it. Okay, so here's our base function. I'm using the Google Graph, and you know, I have sine t. So look at it. It goes from uh, it goes from negative one <clears throat> to positive one. Okay, so it goes up to down to negative one up to positive one. So if I came in here and I said, let's just scale it. Okay, what, what do you want to scale it by? Let's do, I don't know, let's do 10. So if I came out here and I said, let's do 10, let's see here, 10 times that, oh, boom, and take a look at it, and lo and behold, now it goes up to positive 10, down to negative 10, pretty easy. Okay, now let's shift it by a, a five volt offset. So I just simply add something to that, and Lo and behold, it's the same amplitude. It goes from positive 15 down to negative five. So the amplitude, the center point's right here. So its amplitude is still 10, but now it's centered at five, okay? And so I applied a DC offset. And it works the same way if you wanna shift it uh, down. You just basically subtract the DC offset <clears throat> and life is good. And so that really is all there is to scaling and shifting the amplitude and offset of a sine wave. And so now we have our complete form of a sine wave. So we have this expression right here. So V peak or V amplitude multiplied by sine two pi FT minus phi plus a V offset. And this of course works for currents too. But this is now awesome because we're, we're scaling and shifting the sine wave function, but we're doing it using the electrical parameters that we use in electrical engineering. So it's no more pi and it's, and you know, it's all that stuff. Well, there's pi in there, but <laughs> we are using like frequency in Hertz to scale the period. And we're using, you know, we're using offset, uh, we're using like offset in volts and we're using the amplitude in volts. So this is essentially, not essentially, this is is absolutely in a form that electrical engineers use. And this is great. The tricks of it though, remember if you're gonna, the argument has to be all in radians right here, but we know how to do that. We can convert between degrees and radians right there. Uh, and that is it, life is good. All right, that is it. That is scaling, shifting, sine wave amplitudes and offsets and see ya.